Good morning, Bible Revival. It's Thanksgiving week, and uh, we're going to do our Thanksgiving week message from Bible Revival. So I was trying to think of like five things that I'm thankful for. I don't even want to include the Lord dying for me and making a way for me to go to heaven for eternity by believing in him. That's like not even on my list, but that's like the top. Things like my family, I'm so lucky to have been raised by great parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles. Like when I say family, it's the whole tree. Going back to Sicily and to Avellino, Vallata in Italy. So our, my heritage of being Italian, all included in that family. I'm thankful because I feel, it, I feel um, so blessed in many ways. Then the community where I grew up, in my neighborhood in Elizabeth, New Jersey, Peterstown. And then things like materialistically, like this car. My niece Teresa and Trevor, they're married now. Uncle Nick, do you need a car? Boom, given to me. What a gift. I said, thank you, Lord, how he works. And I needed one at the time. So let's see what it says. Psalm 9 1. Psalm 9 1. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell you of all your wonderful deeds, which I'm doing now. It's all from Him. So think about five things that you might be thankful for in your life. Because I always go, Thank you, Lord. Whether it's a job that I got in the past, one that stands out is apartments that I've received. After looking at 10 apartments and going, All right, I'll take it. And then what happened is in the last minute, I, a guy goes, you want this apartment? I said, I can't believe it. It was the best one down in Bradley Beach. People remember, but that was God sent. This was God sent. The list goes on. Make your list and thank God every day. Okay, have a great Thanksgiving. All right, bye-bye.